सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल जो यू गाइज वॉन्ट टू हैव सम फन इफ येस देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल ए स्टे ट्यून फॉर दिस वीडियो सो टूडे आई एम इन अ वेरी यू नो नॉट अ चेयरफुल मूड सो टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू एक्चुअली हियर सम जोक्स एंड आई डोंट हैव एनी थिंग विद मी राइट नाउ आई जस्ट हैव माई लेजी ओल्ड इमिलेटर of google watch because i cannot afford a google watch so let's just see if this watch can actually help me okay so it definitely tells the time pretty nicely let's see the play store aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. oh yeah there is a application called as joke for you so let's open it oh it is asking me that ask me a joke oh i don't want to hear one so I click on it and tell me a joke. Ah, uh, okay. Why should you never trust a pig with a secret? Oh, because it's bound to squeal. <laughs> okay, that's a funny one. And a man walked into a bar with some asphalt on his arm, and he said, "Two beers, please. One for me and one for the road." Oh my God, this is really funny. But you know what? I just don't want to uh, start reading the jokes. Do you guys want to actually build this application with me? So if yes, then please stay tuned for this video and do subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, so I guess now you guys already know what we are in for today. So today's video is about creating Google Watch apps. So today we are going to play with something uh, in Android Studio and we are going to make this app. Okay? but this video is going to be a two part video so for the next part please stay tuned as well and that's why subscribe to my channel so first of all uh, to build any android app just you go to google and you have to go to this site called as developerandroidstudio.com and there you will have this option to download the android studio once you have downloaded it you will just have to install it and it will look like this So if you go to your start panel and type android studio you will see it will open and then you will see such an interface which is same as that of an intellij if you have ever worked in intellij uh, all the shortcuts are pretty much the same okay so the app which i just showed you is actually built in this uh, project right now which is open on my screen but we are not going to refer to this project we are going to create a new project so basically i will click on file and click on new and go to new project and now you will see that we have some sort of tabs here the first tab is phone and tablet we are not going to build a phone app we are going to build a watch app so just click on wear os and then click on a blank wear activity so just click on next and now you create your own application so my application name is going to be some old jokes okay and i am storing this application in this particular uh, area here and you can definitely change the path if you want to now click on finish once you click on finish you will see that your application is open in a new window and by default there are some files already created here and the first file which you see that it is opened on my screen is called as activity main.xml and basically this file is an xml file which displays the ui of your watch so whatever will be visible on your screen is actually shown here you can configure it in this file so today's video we are only going to cover the ui part or the formatting part of watch application and in the next video i will cover the back end part okay so let's see so first of all i want a watch i don't want a phone and this is clearly a ui interface of a phone so let me select my watch here so i will click on this drop down and i will just click on wear and there i will see a 240 to 240 wear os square you can see here that quickly my ui is changed and now i see here hello square world there is some text written here but do i want this text or do i want something else definitely i want something else written here and i also want a button which on click on which i will be able to see uh, 
that tell me a joke. So what you can do here, it's a very pretty much easy uh, drag and drop scenario. So just click on this button and drag it and drop it. And you can see that now I do have a button. So there were two things I needed. One was a text and another was a button. So now I've got both of them. But you can see that by default, both of them are overlapping over each other. To make sure that they both don't overlap over each other, you will have to check your layout. So my layout is a frame layout. Now the problem with frame layout is that it will not constrain any of your uh, items. It will just lay them on top of it. So what you have to do is you have to constrain your layout. So just right click on frame layout and you will see there is an option convert frame layout to constraint layout. So I will click on this option. And then I will click on OK. So now my layout is constrained layout. So with constrained layout, what you can do is if you, if I push down this button in the bottom, then you can see that it stays here. It is not going up. Okay, it is now staying here in the bottom, right? But you still have to right click on it, click on constraint and click on parent top and parent start so basically i'm fixing the top and the left part of this button similarly i will fix the top and left part of this text as well so that it doesn't uh, float anywhere it will stay on its place okay now you can see that both these things are actually on its place but will they actually appear the same on a google watch as well this we have to find out now the thing with me is that I don't have a Google Watch and similarly you may not have it as well. But what you can do is you can test your applications on an emulator. Now I will show you how to create an emulator. So to create an emulator you have this sort of drop down here and you just click on it and you can here you can see there is an option called as open AVD manager. Either you can find it from here or there is this icon called as open AVD manager here. You can just click on that and then also your AVD manager will be open. You will see here that I have some devices configured, some emulators configured. The first one is for a pixel, it's for a phone, but I don't want a phone, I want a watch and I have a watch configured here as well. What I can do here is, I have this watch configured here which I showed you in the introduction. I will just simply close it. And I will delete this watch for now and let me create it from the fresh. So here I will just click on delete and you can see that my AVD will be deleted. Now I will click on create a virtual device. You will go to VR OS and then select the any watch. You can basically select any watch. I am selecting the first one. Click on next and now you have to select your operating system. So you can see that I already have Pi downloaded here with me. But if I was not having it downloaded, I will be seeing a download link just like these below. And then you can click on download. And once it will be downloaded, you will be able to see next button enabled. Once uh, you click next, you can just click on finish. And there you go. Your AVD is now created and it is visible here. Now if you click on play, you will see that your AVD will appear like this. But I will just increase its size so that it's clearly visible to everybody. And now this uh, watch will simply, you know, start just like whenever you turn on your Fitbit or your Google watch, it will just start. It will just reboot itself. And once it is rebooted, then we will deploy our application in this watch and we will see how it actually looks. Is it looking the same as that of which it is looking in this UI interface or is it looking something different? Okay, let's see. So it is uh, booting right now. And uh, yeah, so you can see that my watch is booted and I, now I am able to see the time. And uh, if I click on these button, I will be able to see these apps as well. So currently my app is not deployed on it. To deploy my app, you just have to click here a debug button or a run button. So here I am clicking on debug button. Why? Because I do want to debug my app and that's why I am clicking on a debug button and you will see that in a moment your build is now running and in a moment it will say install. You can see install. 
and once it is installed you will see such kind of a screen and my app is now visible here you see the app looks exactly same as that of the UI interface so now what I want to do is I want to change this button to say tell me a joke and this text to say ask me a joke so I will click on the button and I will click on these attributes tab here and you can see the text of the button is written as button so I will just change it to tell me a joke and you can see that clearly it is now reflected here and this button is of a different length now so I will just push it towards the left so that it is covered in the watch the same thing is with this text as well so here I will just change this text to I can just change it to something like ask me a joke and you can see that now my text string is changed you should also always change the id of your text to, uh, and your button and whatever your elements because generic ids are not usually preferred in the java world so i can just change here like joke text view and just click on continue because then it will uh, replace all the usages of this particular element and then here also in the button I will change the ID to joke button okay and now what I will do is I will deploy this app again and I will just see if this now looks the same or not on my watch so let's see okay so it's installing now we can see install and in a moment it will start appearing on this watch as well so sometimes it, it is possible that Android Studio is a little bit slow but most of the times it works perfectly. So you can see now it is reflected in my emulator as well. I am getting ask me a joke and I am getting a button. Now there is no click event yet on this button but in the next video I will tell you how we can show something here on the click and how we can connect to a REST API and get the jokes as I showed you in the introduction. So for this video that was all and I hope you enjoyed this introduction and this uh, small project and you will be stay tuned for the next video as well. So thank you so much everyone and have a good day. Bye bye.